Hi guys, welcome again. Um, we are just getting into a four player game, hopefully. Here we go. So today I have something uh, special for you planned. Uh, I have been thinking about it for a long time. Uh, first, let me choose the, the A side for Olympia. And now we are going to play an interactive game. Uh, so each turn, uh, I will first let you take a minute, or you can also pause the video, think about what would you like to play. And then I'm um, going to tell you how many points you've got. You can get two, one or zero points for each pick. So with the first hand, I, I hopefully you already made your um, picks. And first I'm going to award two points for the clay pit, one point for the guard tower, and the non none uh, others are zero. So everyone with the clay pit, hopefully everyone cho chose that, is very happy. Here again, we are going to, to make another prediction. And here I'm going to award two points for timber yard, one point for lumber yard, and zero for the others. Again, th think about it. And now I'm going to give two points for guard tower, two points for lumber yard, and one point for, for each of those. Um, so here we go. I'm actually going to pick... Should have shown you this, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I think I'm actually going to go Lumber. Here again, think about it. And I will show you the other guy, what he's having. So now I'm revealing the points. Barracks two points, one point for Marketplace. Okay, another pick. And this one is pretty basic, so pause if you if you want to think about it. But it's gonna be, uh, I'm revealing now, two points for Guard Tower, uh, one point for Orvain, and one point for Throwing. But I really think that you should pick Guard Tower from this hand. And the last hand, uh, think about it. There are, because there is no Halicarnassus, there are actually only two possibilities here. And I'm going to give... That's very hard, to be honest. Let me think about this for a while. I'm actually giving two points for both playing the wonder and throwing. I think I will actually play the wonder, but it's very close. So no points to be gained here. I, I think this was a little better, but I'm still going to give two points for the throw. I think it has some principles here as well. Okay, so new hand. Not uh, many possibilities, but still, let's let's think about it. Let's see also what is on the table. Mm. Just one guy in a green splash. This guy will probably add a green splash. We are currently winning red. Uh, so, yeah. Mm, let's think. Okay. I'm ready and I'm going to give two points for hiding walls, uh, one point for hard hiding like aqueduct temple uh, and maybe one point for hi hiding lab. But generally I think you should hide from this hand. Uh, I'm going also one point for playing the loom. Uh, okay, my clock is negative. Okay, so think about it. Pause, pause the video if you have to. And I'm going to give uh, 
2 points for playing archery range and 1 point for playing farm. Again, think about it. Uh, I'm giving some clues here. Um, and I'm going to give 2 points for playing stables. 1 po no. Actually, it's just gonna be 2 points for playing the stables. One point for Vineyard and Cardhouse, just because I, I'm nice. But I I really think those are mistakes. Uh, so the f that's not the first hand that got back to us. Um, this is really hard, actually. And I think it's going to be two points for playing the Brickyard. One point for throwing. And this is another super hard one. Uh, just because, first think about it, um, this is not so great because we, we want to be open, like we want free blue in the in the last round, uh, but also we, we really need some points. But I'm actually going to play the foundry, but this, this is not a hand that I can score you on, uh, but this hand I can score you on. So, so, so think about it. And it's gonna be just two points for playing the Wonder Stage. Uh, one point for playing the Press. We do not have access to neither of those, but it's perfectly fine. We, we have a plan for that. Uh, and first part of our plan is to play Palace from this hand. Uh, sorry, no no scores. So uh, Palace will, will be two points, uh, one point for Haven. And uh, yeah, and that's it. I, I cannot award you points for playing either of those guilds. Uh, so two points for Palace and, and one point for, for Haven. Actually, I can give you one point for decorators. But this is a really nice game, showing um, like I'm playing Olympia, like super for playery, I would say. Uh, I collected the set for Haven. Um, okay, so here, let me think about it. We sell two guilds. So there are this is the fifth one, so there is just one more coming. Uh, so I'm going to give two points for playing Magistrates and two points for playing Senate, and that would be it. Okay, on to the next one. Um, the negative thing is stressing me out. Um, so it's gonna be two points for, for Gardens. One point for, for Siege and one for Spice, but I, I think it's Gardens here. But because I'm a little stressed, I cannot think 100% here straight. Um, okay, this is a tricky one, so pause, pause if you have to. Uh, I'm going to, to go two points for throwing Arsenal, uh, but I'm not really sure about that. But still, I'm going to give two points for throwing Arsenal. And uh, that would be it. Now the the red thing is is hurting us. Here coming back, this is just two points for playing the haven. Um, and. On to the last one, this will be just two points for playing the Lighthouse. And let's see how we did. Again, this is some pretty tough opposition, I would say. Everyone above 400, and we got first place. So I guess our strategy wasn't that bad. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we are going to go get a second one of this. Uh, so we have a, we can have a proper, uh, proper test.
let's open a table for other prayers hopefully this will fill up soon please let me know in the comments uh, how well you scored and what do you think about uh, a video series like that um i know it would be better with editing kinda uh but honestly this will make me so much time this would, like i'm not the best at editing so this would take me so much time that i hope this is acceptable but please let me know uh what do you think about it and if you liked it and how you scored and where you disagree i i thought this is a good like learning opportunity so some kind of like uh because i'm sure i made a mistake there also because i'm you know uh, this is a live game um maybe this would be better prepared from a replay uh just tell me what you guys think uh i'm really curious about your opinion about that and this is of course a, a series where uh wow no games are starting can you believe that okay and there is just another table so hopefully this one will get started maybe we'll get a five player game that would also be nice so we do not get two four player game hopefully this one will start soon um i'm just not sure if this guy is around but in the meantime uh in that last one, we really focused on on playing Olympia um, in like for four player or like a higher player count way. Um, okay, not okay. That was a random site. I didn't even see that. Um, we got a Babylon site. That's pretty nice. We are next to Giza Rodos. There is Halicarnassus and Olympia. Uh, so the first hand again will be looking to to judge the points uh, take a second pause the video if you have to and i'm going to give now my uh i'm going to show with the with the hand so you know where to pause if you still want to think about it uh, so i'm going to give uh, two points for timberyard but also two points for press uh, and i'm going to give uh, one point for the trading post i think those are like viable options that you can go from this hand I'm going to start with Timberyard, uh, although press is, is very tempting. Um, okay, so again, here, think about it. And I'm going to give my prediction. Uh, Loom mm, is going to get two points, uh, Alter is going to get one point, and Claypool is going to get uh, one point. Of course, if you like chose differently, on the other hand, this would be a totally different game. But we cannot give uh, like all all the options. So again, here think about it. And th this one is pretty tricky, but at the same time, it it's pretty simple. I am going to give Clay Pit two points, Glassworks two points, and one point to buffs. Because I, I I do think that you can take some some other lines here and there. And, and Glassworks here makes a lot of sense. It would be Glassworks first if we have uh, a green coming to us, but we already have seen uh, the green. Okay, so again, pause here uh, if you need to, to think about it. And I'm going to give my prediction. Uh, it's going to be two points for Stokade and Barracks and uh, one point for the Guard Tower. Mm, and one point for Orvain. And one point for throwing, <laughs> actually. Uh, but if you throw, I would throw uh, Orvain. So only for throwing Orvain, there is one point. And what do we do here? Um... Yeah, I'm, mm, I'm not 100% in my predictions here. But, but I think we, we have a chance uh, of catching back on military in the third age. Uh, so again, pause here. And this one, this hand is pretty simple. So, so it's going to be two for Apple and one for Altar. I can totally understand someone not wanting to play green. 
uh, in this position when, when we are behind and we do not have a gray access uh, so much. But at the same time, uh, we are the only green player at the moment at the whole table. So I do think Apothecary is a much better choice. And the last one, and again, pause if you have to, and I'm going to reveal my prediction, is going to be two points for press, and that's it. Uh, in this position, I don't think there is another way that you can play this. Uh, this enables us so much. And the green, uh, the glass horse is here. Of course, in Seven Wonders, as usual, uh, some of the picks will be like, this would have been so much better if I picked this. Uh, but at the same time, we are playing this game to give ourselves <clears throat> the best possible chances at all times. So the fact that it would have won us the game, it's not always a proof enough that it was the correct play. Uh, oh, <laughs> and I totally forgot about the contest. Uh, because I was so busy talking, but the dispenser gives you two points, and I think that's it. <clears throat> Here, again, pause, and I'm going to reveal, and that would be school two points, and that's it. Um, we started playing green in this game, so that gives us, sometimes it's like easier to play the green, uh, but then you get hands like this, and think about it. And I'm going to give. Uh, first, I'm going to give one point to Glassworks just because the finishing set makes sense because of the Chamber of Commerce. That I guess this guy is kind of interested, but not really. Uh, I'm going to give two points to playing either of those, uh, but I think it's better to play the stables just because this guy has a mm, worse access to archery range. And I think that would be it. Not interested in the other one. I, I'm I'm just going to play the the red, so they are worried about the red as well. And here, uh, pause the video if you have to uh, think about like something to to think about it uh, when when you when you are doing something like that. If you don't want um, like my um, clues, please pause the video again. I know I said pause the video so many times. Mm, Caravan Sarai uh, lets us the third third stage, for example. All, um, we already have that with, with the Brickyard here, but before we were kind of worried that we are not going to get that. Uh, from the previous hand, Glassworks would be the pick, if not our neighbor already having the Glassworks. So that's something to think about when you are playing the game. Uh, obviously, I'm going to pick the Caravan Sarai here. That's uh, very reasonable. Um, here... Now we regret picking uh, the stables. Um, so again, count the the reds when you are playing. Um, there are five reds, five and seven in the last era. Uh, we see three on the table, four or five. So I'm now revealing the pick. Um, it's actually, uh, I'm actually going to uh, give two points to playing training grounds and give two points to um, hiding training grounds. Hiding whatever, to be honest. That that's would be. Um, and I'm actually going to five. He will play that. Am I interested? I don't know. What, I don't remember what was on the first hand, but I think not much. So I'm actually going to play the training grounds here. But I think hiding would have been perfectly fine. And here there is only one line that I can give you two points for hiding and playing the library. Um, that's that's the only one that makes sense. And we are in a very good position, honestly. Uh, he, he did some green splash. I'm okay with that. Okay, so po pause the video again here um, if you have to. But there is only one card that you can play and makes sense. It's, it's study from this hand. You can try to play Senate and think that this will come back. Uh, or you can try to steal the Ludus as well. 
uh, I'm going to give you one point for Senate and Ludus, but it's two point uh, for the study, I think. Or is it? Actually, I'm going to give you two points for Ludus as well, I think. It can be really good. Here, um, am I prepared to risk it? I there are are there two studies? There are two studies. So I actually I am actually not sure here. Um yeah, if this can come back to us and I think we need a pick. Um I'm actually thinking Lodos here. As crazy as it sounds. Um Okay, here, pause the video. That, that's a very interesting hand, I would say, for us. And I'm going to give two points for university, two points for lodge, uh, and one point for study. <clears throat> but I think study is pretty weak. Uh, I'm actually picking up lodge here. Mm, again, pause the video. You have to. And he played that one. Mm, three, four, five, six. So I'm actually going to to give two points for academy and one point for arsenal. Um, I don't, like, this guy can go crazy on red here, and, like, that's just too risky for me to play that. We're looking very good, except we, like, we, we are behind on points a little, but hopefully we can catch up. Um, yeah, pause the video, uh, and I'm going to reveal, it's going to be to be just two points for Chamber of Commerce. That's that's the easy hand, I would say. Let's think about... Um, like, let's see what... What the fate will bring us. This guy has some nice guild. But he's behind. <clears throat> Usually with Olympia A, you have to play for the red. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. This guy is lagging a little bit. Okay, we kind of expected that. Mm. Pause the video if you have to. And now I'm going to explain. Castrum, uh, like even hiding Castrum lets us win red. That, that's pretty big. Uh, but there is observatory that can potentially give us a lot of points. Like that is still eight, nine even. Uh, but this gives us this gives us eight, ten. This gives us nine. So so that's huge points. There is one uh, one coming, I think, on the last hand, and um, he'll pick Senate from this hand. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I don't remember what the last card was. Um, we are kind of racing him, so uh, I actually, I'm actually going to to give two points for hiding Castrum, but also two points for playing Observatory. I think I'm going to hide the Castrum here. Um, yeah, I think I am, and this guy is kind of ahead of us, but is he ahead enough? Um, I think I'll play against him. This this may be unnecessary because we knew that he had arena, so maybe playing observatory was better, uh, because we knew he had arena, so that's an eight pointer for him. But at the same time, it might be better to play play the other one. So so this one uh, there is just no, no brainer. Two points for playing study and traders guild. I'm going to play study first, but. Really doesn't matter. Um, 
so yeah uh, so in the in the end we, we wasted some points in the end just to to be safer and to win against this guy uh, but we are i'm not sure how we we went with that in the end we did win uh, but i think it was close uh, did they pay us anything he had to pay us right this guy with the last one had to buy us. That's also good. He had to pay us four. Uh, that's kind of a lot. We narrowly beat Kamblerart here. Um, he played a good game, I'd say. Like, just principled Rodos play. Kind of what we did in the last round with Olympia. Uh, yeah, pretty good. So, this was probably already a long video. Let me know how you guys like the new format. How can it be improved? And... Yeah, this is like, guess the move for you. <laughs> guess, guess my move, I, I would say. So let me know what you guys think, and until later, see you. Bye.